You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And we're at the Throttle House test track for a drag race. Look at that. Okay, let's keep this simple. 30-ish thousand dollar cars, each have four cylinders and a turbo, but otherwise, they're quite different. Different in drivetrain, different in philosophy, but not so different in price or power. So will a drag race of these cars sway your buying decision? Probably not, but you know you want to watch it. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, another interesting drag race of the more affordable cars. Now, last time we raced the Accord against the Camry and the Mazda 6, it was the winner. So now it goes up against some more aggressive competition than EcoBoost, rear-wheel drive, massive amounts of horsepower and torque, WRX, rally history, all-wheel drive. This is a two-liter four-cylinder turbocharged and the GLI next to me is a two-liter four-cylinder turbocharged, but it's no joke. And we actually compared the GLI and the Accord in their manual trims in a review and everyone said to drag race it and we were sure at that point that the GLI would take it. Now that we've got more seat time in the Accord, I'm not so sure. Okay, the Mustang EcoBoost 10 speed. I have the mostest displacement and I have the most torque. Now, <clears throat> I actually have no idea what's going to happen here, but there's some important factors at play. Number one, it's cold today. Number two, I'm rear wheel drive. Number three, this is the 10 speed, which means that it's a bit temperamental in the way that it does certain things. I'm gonna put it in drag strip mode. The traction control is off. And then what kind of happens is if you even like have a dream about lifting off the throttle, it will upshift for you into one of the 10 speeds. And it, it just gets a little bit finicky with how it deals with the transmission. And so you're kind of like working around the turbocharged power band and the, the transmission itself, it's a bit weird. But as long as you can go flat out, it's very quick in a straight line. Really quick, actually. Maybe the quickest here. So we'll find out. We're going to do a race from a dig with launch control, which only the GLI and WRX have. The Mustang and the Accord don't. So in fairness to them, we're then going to do a no launch control dig race followed by a roll race. Here we go. Come on, Accord. Go. Okay, he's taking the launch. And then it did a little weird upshift. I felt the gearing be all. Oh. And now I'm walking. Wow, the WRX is keeping up. Now I'm walking. The GLI is way in the back. And the Mustang takes it. Shortly followed by the WRX. Slightly longerly, for longerly followed by the GLI. I almost had you. I feel like all is right with the world. An Accord almost had a Mustang. Yeah, also I, I can kind of see it pulling a little bit. On, yeah, on and the I took end. the WRX. Yep. And we've destroyed the GLI. This, this is, this is a weird. This car is weird. The way that it delivers power. Sometimes, like in, in, in the gears, it's sometimes it doesn't make any sense. But when it all lines up and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, then it actually is very fast in a straight line. Well, they're both ten speeds. Yes. And this is, I can feel this trying to apply as much torque as possible. I think the Honda fanboys will be very happy with the way that just went. Very, very close. Very close. Let's all do right. a no launch control dig. Okay. 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 One foot. Launch. Off the brake, onto the accelerator, the moment he drops. Got to move that foot, got to move that foot. Ready, 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 ready. Dropped. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's close. And there's Thomas pulling just ahead. Mustang's got it. Mustang's got it. GLI falling behind, and the WRX is just behind me again. Exactly the same results. But then the Accord starts to reel it back. Oh, the WRX looks like it's gaining a bit. Woo! There we go. The EcoBoost just takes it. That has the picture of a Mustang on the front. 
Yeah. This is a commuter car. Yeah, but this is the efficient Mustang, I'll have you know. But, and the WRX is gaining in the top end. You can feel that. He was coming up way up by me on the left there. This is a weird race. It's weird. It's weird. I like it. I like the weird. Should we do a roll race? Yeah, let's do a roll okay. race. Okay. Roll race time. Now the GLI's had some struggles getting off the line. I don't think the gearing's in favor of it in the low end. Those tires as well, I don't think are perfect. They, I, for some reason, the way it throws its torque at those tires, it can smoke, which the Honda Accord, despite its power, I'm not losing traction at all. So the roll race will be interesting, I think, mostly for the GLI. I think the results between myself and Thomas are also going to be fast. This is fascinating all around. Why are the least powerful cars compared to the Hellcats and the Red Eyes, why are they more interesting? I don't understand. Roll race and go. Come on, Accord. Oh, man. Come on. OK, I'm taking the GLI. Come on, Mustang. Here's the top end. Give me the top end. Give me the top oh, That's so close. And the EcoBoost is taking me. Well done, GLI, though. That's so good. <laughs> that's a photo finish. Oh, man. I think you took that. I think I did. If I. If the GLI. Most improvement award to the most GLI. It goes to the GLI. Wow. What was that about? Okay, like, I, I did test the launch in that car, and those tires are genuine garbage yes like i'm a big fan of the, the like that brand that those tires are but not those ones no it doesn't They're seem crap. to suit them but that that was interesting and the wrx was, was well no, behind it did what wrx's do they just they, they sit in a great spot right in the middle in defense of the wrx yeah if there was even a millimeter of snow on the ground <laughs> these would be everywhere these would be everywhere and he would have won yeah yeah he could do it. He could do the same race in a field and win. Okay, so the Mustang is the clear winner. Mustang is the clear winner. Yes. Accord is a strong, strong second. Which one would you buy? Now you can't ask me questions. I'm going like to ask that. you right now, son. Do it. What you got? Okay, so it depends what I'm using it for. But I own the Audi version of a GLI. <laughs> yeah, I have pretty an much. Audi yeah. S4. So I think I the interior on the GLI is really nice. I'd go for the GLI. I think. I think I think I would personally purchase the GLI until like mid January, and then I would immediately regret it and want the WRX for the all-wheel drive. But you wouldn't get one of these. I would not get one of these. Just out the of the. The like, is so spacious. It is so. The spacious. Mustang looks like a Mustang. I would do. I, the Mustang is beautiful, and I would do this in a manual personally. You know what the cheapest car here is? What's that? The GLI. Really? Yeah. Most improved and best value. 